After more than a year of just following traces, this is the first direct physical evidence of MH370's fate, and it will be crucial to investigators. Let's look at this in more detail. Oliver McGee was the former U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Transportation for Technology Policy in the Clinton administration. He joins us now from Washington. Thank you, sir, for joining us on Sky News tonight. Is there any doubt in your mind that this is part of MH370? Uh, absolutely. This is, we'll, be, we'll be finding in just a few days or so uh, the official announcements uh, from Boeing and Malaysia, as well as the uh, government officials of Malaysia and Australia, that this is in fact uh, a part of the MH370 flight that has been missing for a year. This is a great day for aviation uh, because the soul of this aircraft has risen and therefore uh, uh, aviation safety and security experts will be able to pour over this particular part, but it also adds hope that we will find this uh, long lost aircraft. And this is great news and for the families and the condolences go out today for them as they're looking at this story develop, as they're thinking about their loved ones. And this is a good day for, for, uh, for all involved. So do you think this increases the chances of finding more of the debris? Because some have said, actually, this doesn't pinpoint the wreckage any further. Uh, yes, because um, since 1948, we've had uh, about 80 aircraft that we've lost, and we've only found three. And the last one was Air France 447, which was found in 2011. So now we, uh, when we found Air France 447, we found parts of the aircraft that floated up. Uh, aircraft are floating devices. Uh, when they're dropped into deep oceans, uh, they tend to rise, they tend to float, and uh, they go uh, fall ashore. And so therefore, we will uh, be able to find more information as to the trajectory and where this uh, plane had landed uh, in, the, in the Indian Ocean. We can all say today that we can be assured that uh, MH370 went down in the southern Indian Ocean. Uh, drift analysis by naval oceanic scientists have given us a, a, a preliminary look at the drift analysis here and the findings that define this debris in the off the coast of the southern Africa is not unusual from those findings of those drift analysis. And then when we have the confirmations of uh, basically about four serial numbers on the right wing of this aircraft, uh, we can then get some confirmation from the Boeing uh, uh, aircraft mechanics manuals, which they are having high confidence on that today. And so we have pretty good assurance uh, with all of those parameters that I've just discussed that this is uh, uh, debris from MH370. Well, those Boeing officials and indeed U.S. investigators will be examining this wreckage when it reaches France. What else will they be looking for? Uh, they'll be looking for, as your report said, uh, uh, how long this uh, debris has been in the ocean, uh, what is the structural damage that is existing. Uh, it is, they'll be involved very much in what I like to call aircraft forensics. And they'll also uh, guide the uh, Australian uh, Transport Safety Bureau in their search, not only in the priority search area, but in other areas as well. It's going to open the door for that. And then, more importantly, uh, we're going to be continuing to look at how uh, we find aircraft in lost in remote regions. Uh, uh, calls have been called from the black box and the cloud, including myself. Uh, we're going to be looking at good grand tech challenge technologies to move aviation safety and security forward, uh, looking at the cloud, big data, uh, how we use wireless, wireless communications and streaming, and more importantly, social media and how we can use crisis management for not only the families and the loved ones, but also how government officials deal with aviation safety and security crises. Can you just explain to us more about the idea of having uh, data from a black box stored in a cloud for our viewers? Just tell us how that would work and how that would improve things. Well, um, there, it, this is a controversial um, issue in advanced aviation technology, uh, but what, we're, what advocates say that we can uh, stream limited data. Uh, really what we're looking for is trying to find positioning, conditions of aircraft, having the aircraft speak more regularly using wireless and advances in wireless communications as to the location of approximately where we have 10 to 15 to 20,000 aircraft a day. 
And we can stream these limited data to be able to find some type of locations and have the airplanes do a different type of talking, not only through the ground-based operations, but also having something stored so that we're not looking for aircraft in the deep oceans for two years, but we can find out what's going on in a matter of 20 to 48 hours. If we knew the position of MH370 long, long time ago, like last year, we can then target our salvage operations and be able to find pinpointing where this hull is. It's in the ocean somewhere, and there, apparently this is a, a message that has said that the hull broke apart and it's floated ashore, as most uh, aircraft who fall in the ocean do. So we're, uh, we're, the streaming will allow us to pinpoint that location and be more assured right now as to where the location of the hull is. Owen McGee, it's been great to talk to you on Sky News tonight. Thank you.